Hi, everyone. Today, we're going to read this story called Lola Goes to School. We've read lots of other Lola stories. One about her loving the library and her reading. And now today's her first day of school. I'm reading this book, especially for my granddaughter, Sophia, who is about to start preschool for the very first time. So I hope she enjoys this, and I hope the rest of you do, too. Let's see what Lola's first day is like. Lola Goes to School by Anna McQuinn and Rosalind Birdshaw. Looks like her mommy's giving her a big hug for a send-off. Tomorrow is a big day for Lola. She's starting school. Looks to me like she's making believe she's the teacher to her dolls and stuffed animals. It will be a bit like story time at the library, but Lola will stay by herself. Lola visited the school last month, so she knows what to expect. It's nice to be able to have a visit. Sometimes schools do that. Then it's not a big surprise the first day. Nana gave Lola fun pencils for school, and Ty gave her a water bottle. Lola wants to wear her party dress to school, but Mommy says maybe not. So Lola chooses her jumping pants and a sunny top. Lola puts everything on her chair so she's ready for the morning. That's a good idea, isn't it? So you're not rushed in the morning. You know exactly what you're going to wear. Her bag is packed with her new stuff and extra clothes, just in case. Everyone gets up super early. Mommy's doing her hair while Lola's having breakfast. Lola puts Dinah in her bag. Now she's ready. Time for photos. Lots of families take pictures of kids on their first day of school. It's fun to have those memories. Miss Suzanne welcomes everyone. She shows Lola where to put Dinah and the rest of her things. Their classroom looks nice, doesn't it? They've got lots of books and stuffed animals. Mommy sits with the other grown-ups for a little while. Lola has choices for what to do next. Hmm. Should she play in the sand or... Paint on the easel. Lots of fun things. Julia is reading. So Lola decides to read too. And the story gives Lola an idea. Lola and Julia run to the dress up box and now they're superheroes. Mommy said goodbye and went home. She'll be back later. Lola hugs Dinah. Soon it's snack time and everyone sits to eat. Once I asked my grandson, Charlie, what his favorite part of school was. I think he might have said snack was one of them. <laughs> I don't blame him. Lola and Julia build a castle after snack time. Allie and Tien join in. So far, school looks pretty great. Lola knows the song and all the motions at circle time. And next, they sing a goodbye song. Mommy is waiting, and it's time to go home. Mommy gives Lola a big hug. They say goodbye to Miss Suzanne and Julia. Lola and Mommy have a snack at home. 
school is fun, but exhausting. Shh. Lull has fallen asleep. The end. Looks to me like Lola had a pretty awesome first day of school. I hope if you guys are starting school soon that you have the same happy, positive experience. Some things about the way Lola's classroom is set up is a little different than things are for most kids in school right now. Last year, not everybody got to go to school in person and some things like circle time we weren't able to do. But I trust that all of you have wonderful teachers who are going to figure out how to have happy days and good learning days at school. And I hope you enjoy every one. Come back so I can read to you soon. But in the meantime, have a great day, everyone. Bye for now.